if you walk into any kind of event, whether it be physical or mental, if you walk in with already putting that block on your mind, if man, this ain't going to happen. People go, how did you run 135 miles to death valley? So how did you run 100 miles with no training? Because I went into it not thinking, I can't do this, man. I went into it with a strategy. I had an open-mindedness. So until your mind is open to the possibilities that I can do this, you would never be able to do it. Once the mind starts to believe it can be achieved, it then, only then, does it start to break down tactically how we can do this. Our trainer pushed us to pick a goal outside of our comfort zone. Just recently, we took a bunch of us to do a Tough Mudder. And certainly I know when we first thought I'll do a Tough Mudder was a while ago when we read what it entailed, that both of us were like, no, nah, it's never gonna happen. remember tomorrow. When I have to make that decision, I think about how will I feel tomorrow based on the decision I make today. And we set a goal for ourselves and we had to tell people in our lives, no, this personal goal, this fitness goal for me is more important than going out Saturday night. Measure yourself at anything. I'm going to run up the mile on the treadmill and see it be, may it be six minutes, may it be 11 minutes. And then just work for four months, then repeat the same test. Like give you, until you actually focus on that the boys have their tough murder or the half marathon, like give yourself small little goals. You can train for something, like give yourself something. Cause without having that goal there, you just go into the gym and like lifting for no reason or running for no reason. And like, you don't know if you're getting better. We're on mile 64, <laughs> it's been a long couple days. Oh shit. Durations are long, yeah. Oh, mile one. Mile in one. 23 minutes, we did mile one. We are fucking slow. Nine, it's a 10 mile race. It's going to be pain either way. So it's either pain of change or pain of being stuck. I was always told to pick the right hill to die on. I say it. <laughs> The thing about the Tough Mudder is it is a team sport and we are here for each other and the only way that a lot of us are going to get over these obstacles is if we help out each other. Okay, let's reorient on another goal. Okay, this goal 
Bill's Tough Mudder. Go, guys. day another challenge done and uh, this one was certainly one that I a few years ago wouldn't have thought I was going to be doing and now that it's come and went I am ready for the next one well I hope you guys enjoyed that to me that looked more of uh, the best of Johnny's misses from the Tough Mudder I can tell you this that electrocution not only scared us but it was absolutely torturous I don't know that we'll be doing another Tough Mudder but we have a challenge for you how are you going to face your fears? Is there something that you've been thinking about, nervous about, scared about doing? I know we were nervous going into the Tough Mudder, but we conquered that challenge and we're ready for you to take on your fears. Get after it. Be free.